Hello everyone watching. It's been more than 30 days with the Thar. It's driven for more than 2000 kilometers and today it is time for a real world review. Bear with me because I have a cold and my voice may not be at the best but let's head on anyways. So starting with the basics, this is a Nepoli Black 2022 uh, Thar that has a 2.2 liter diesel engine making 130 bhp of power and 300 newton meters of torque. This vehicle comes with uh, 18 inch wheels and the tire size is 255-65 R18. It's got disc brakes at the front and drum brakes at the back. Plastic bumpers all around the rear and the front, a plastic hard top and a rear mounted spare wheel which is full size. The vehicle has a total of 16 places where there is Thar branding. If you know all 16, tell me down in the comments below. And we also have a special we also have a special audience watching us today. And there is an albino buffalo. Something that's quite rare. Okay, so getting back to the Thar. The vehicle has spring coil suspension at the front and at the back in, com uh, in contrast to the previous edition Thar which used to come with leaf springs at the back. So this is a, a great upgrade that the Thar has. And uh, my most favorite part is the approach and departure angle of the Thar because on terrain like this where you have rocks and smaller rocks. Uh, this is this is very comfortable to drive on and I don't really need to fear about anything that the bumper will touch anywhere. It just glides over the surfaces with ease. The interior on Thar is all black with most of the interior covered with hard plastics which is not a bad thing at all. This is quite durable, this is quite tough and it gives quite a tough utilitarian look to the Thar and uh, this interior is uh, water resistant so you can after going out for serious off-roading you can just uh, grab your garden hose spray everything down and clean everything up and um, the car also has rain plugs on the floor so all the water goes out after washing which is a great deal to have in such a rugged car the car comes with uh, four seats inside two at the back two at the front these two front seats are bucket seats which do a great job in holding you in place and you actually need bucket seats uh, for this car because this car has a lot of body roll when you turn the car turns and takes it with you so if not for these fantastic fantastic bucket seats you would just slide off uh, uh, in the entire car Okay, so this took some while to start. This is the first time I'm seeing this happen. And is the... Okay, it's working. So the car has a, a 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system, which is decent at best. It's not the most responsive touchscreen that I've ever used in a car, but it, it does the job really well. Uh, so it has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as standard but it is not wireless so you need to connect a cord like this for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to be used and my most favorite part about this infotainment system is this it gives you stats off-road off-road and on-road so the off-road controls it tells you uh, what's your approach departure angle is and what's your lean angle is which is a good thing to know when you're going off-road and on road it shows you torque power and which gear you're on and what kind of a driving system you're using 4x2 4x4 or rear wheel drive another great thing about the car is the sound system 
Now this is the radio, but the sound system mounted on the roof do a great job in. So the sound system mounted on the roof does a great job in uh, just liven livening up the cabin because uh, it's got decent bass at higher volume. and the audio for a stock system it's quite good so it's got two tweeters and two main speakers and if you're not looking for an upgrade uh this is this is damn nice the my most favorite part about the car in the interior is how good the ac is damn good it just freshens up it cool it cools down the cabin very well it's got a very powerful ac so most of the times i need i have to keep the ac on this setting because if not uh, it tends to get pretty pretty cold and and these buttons sorry these knobs okay these buttons are fine these are quite functional these are quite good and i'm very happy that mahindra has given all these buttons good tactile buttons that have a great feel to them but apart from the buttons i like how these knobs are and if you notice these knobs have a thread pattern like on the uh, tires uh, it's stylized a bit and it looks quite nice and uh, i i like these because when you're driving so when you when you have a view of the road like this and you quickly need to change the ac settings you just need to find where the knob is and turn it right or left and uh, not take your eyes off the road because nazar hati durghatna ghati so this is a great great feature to have i think in all cars it should be the same because touch panels uh, you need to uh, just find your way around look where the button is and feel and then adjust uh, but on the other hand having this done done Now since we are on the inside of the car I'll tell you the things that I found out about the car that I like and I dislike uh on the insides firstly these windows are great for visibility but these are very bad uh at night because they have very high reflections even even now okay it's not visible in the camera but I can see myself in the mirror here my hand is moving my face everything is visible so a bit high on the reflections because it's very very vertical even this screen at night uh, it tends to have uh, it tends to get a lot of reflections uh, from a lot of places and even this this window so what the problem here is when you're turning uh, it obstructs the view a lot especially at night and uh, the second part this uh, b pillar is uh, okay how do i see this but this is uh, i really don't know how how to put this but while turning when you're turning the car either right or left uh, this creates a huge blind spot and in my experience of a month i have misjudged my turns a lot because of this blind spot because there were uh, motorcycles coming in and i could not see them and okay i i was just saved so this is a bit of a problem to have while turning and another let down uh, in the same department is this uh, rear uh, parking camera this is one of the worst cameras I have seen in any car. Now this was a accessory which costed four thousand one hundred rupees, and okay, just just look at it. This is not good. The quality on the image is terrible. It's not vibrant. It's not ac. It's not uh, saturated. It's just awful looking. And the the worst part is, see, you can. see that it's sort of a fish eye lens so it tries to widen up the view and by doing that uh the accuracy drops so it is not accurate at all because if uh because it it may show you that the view from behind is clear but when you actually look in the side view mirrors 
uh, you come to know that there is something behind and if you go back you might hit someone or something so this is i'm very disappointed in this camera but at least it's better than the new scorpio ens camera because that is more terrible more pathetic than this okay so let's quickly talk about the pros and cons of this vehicle uh, let's start off with the pros first okay this is uh, this is just a fantastic car in 2022 this car costs around 17 lakh and upwards to 19 lakh depending on the variant that you choose this is a diesel manual that costed 17.25 lakhs on road in goa it might change depending on the state that you that you're in because of the taxes and the accessories that you choose but for 17 lakhs this is worth every rupee that you spent because surely for the road presence and the driving feel that this car gives you now it may have a ton of body roll it may have a heavy steering but that just adds character to the car because this feels like a true proper suv when you're driving this car you feel like you're driving a tough butch macho car okay it's not a pseudo suv it's not a fake suv that is very easily maneuvered or uh, i don't know this is just a fun driving macho damn good car now this is also a negative aspect of the car because heavy steering uh a high a big turning radius and a lot of body roll for shorter distances you may feel that this is great you you'll get a great feeling but when you're going for a bit longer distance this will get tiring and when compared to other cars in the segment see even the innova the base variant will cost you around uh 20 lakhs i think 20 lakhs and that is a pseudo mpv in my opinion because that has everything that a uh, suv should have but it it is termed as an mpv that we'll talk about in some other video getting back to the thar so what i fell in love in the beginning of the car was how this car looks with this black paint but this is also a bad thing about the car because see the bumpers are just plastic they are not painted and even the roof it's it's a plastic roof which is not painted it's matte black so uh this may be a controversial uh opinion but i don't like how these bumpers look the matte black on this gloss black car it do, it just doesn't work for me and it doesn't work for me because look it has been just over 30 days since we bought the car and this is already started to show age it's become white so this in my opinion is terrible even the hard top here see white spots so terrible terrible uh plastics i will get this painted uh, gloss black and let's see how that looks the mirror here side view mirror here is also plastic which i will also get painted and the this black paint uh, now i do not know if this is just in the case of my vehicle or it's the case with all thars but see right from the factory just not 30 days age is not an issue here but you can see orange peeling on the paint which tells you that the clear coat on the car is not good it should have been a thicker coat and it should have been sanded down more uh, for it to have a very uniform clear glossy uh, finish now the hinges on this car is are something that i do not like because in the previous uh, generation thar these hinges this cut out or sorry this cut out or whatever this is called used to be on the inside and what that did was that did not leave distortion here so when you see it from an angle the the uh, the door looks warped even here in some cases in from certain angles this curve that you see uh it looks warped and it just doesn't look appealing for 17 lakhs this should not have been the case 
the lights on the car the headlights are halogen and the projectors down below are also halogen which for 17 lakhs i think should have been leds and quite powerful leds now in all fairness this is a good uh, illumination setup this does a pretty decent job in lighting up the road but for the price come on i was expecting leds but it is what it is the only place where we do get leds are here at the tail light and here in these drls so that's the only places that a 17.25 lakh car has leds from the factory well now coming to the most important question that any indian has regarding any car kitna deti hai well according to the mid it's showing 13.7 k uh, kilometers to the liter which is not the most accurate because i've done full tank to full tank and i've gotten an average fuel economy of around 11 and a half so this i don't think is very accurate and around 11 and a half for a diesel manual i think is correct now since i was telling you that how good the approach and departure angle of the car is see these uh, you can't see it in the camera but these are quite big rocks that i'm climbing on and i don't really need to think much because the approach and departure angle is great and the car just glides along but on this uh, the same time it does have a lot of body roll so i am shaking quite a bit and moving around quite a bit on this road but it's doable and it's and it's very very fun now i will show you how the car behaves when going on uh, not so good roads this is a mud road we are on the canal and we are currently driving below 20 km per hour which is good okay now what i have uh, learned from the car is that well when going on such roads you either need to go very slow or you need to go very sp very fast because uh, if you go at a at a pace uh, which you would drive on roads normally the ride tends to get very bouncy because of the shorter wheel uh, shorter wheel base uh, it bounces a lot so you, so right now we are comfortable but now at around 30 40 we are not very comfortable but if we increase the speed wait let me increase the speed further speed stretch coming now so now here we either need to go very slow or very fast so now since we are going very fast the ride has become very plush and we don't and i don't feel the bumps very much but uh, can you can you hear how much of outside noise is filtering through the rocks are hitting the side wells and it's creating a lot of noise so if you can hear that uh tell me in the comments below because i do not know how much it is being picked up in the camera but now i do not know how many people would agree to this but see this window here you know what's the best part about this window let me stop you know what's the best part about this window You can rest your hand here, and you can grab onto the steering wheel. And it's at such a height that you are very comfortable just driving around with your hand like this. And it may not be the safest option to do, but it's damn comfortable, and it just adds to the driving feel and driving pleasure of the car. Hello guys it's Jovan and you know what time it is